those years, going back to Brooklyn. Well, decorating a home for the rich and famous involves time, effort, and a whole lot of money. CNBC's Vera Gibbons has the story on high-end designer trends. Mark Newson, Ron Arad, Zaha Hadid, three of the hottest contemporary designers right now, commanding from $50,000 to upwards of $300,000 for their home furnishings. Home furnishings or art? All of this furniture, all this contemporary furniture has sculpture quality and sculpture value and it therefore has art value. Designer Robert Couturier says that is just one of the many reasons shoppers are buying contemporary pieces. It's a very joyous furniture. There's, no, there's nothing that is restrictive. It's incredibly fun and it's incredibly beautiful. These days, it's all about beauty. Every piece of furniture has to count, a trend that has been emerging in the antique market for years. Furniture today, antiques especially, are used for ornament. We have changed from the 18th century, we've grown taller, we are bigger, and this furniture do not really function for us anymore. Some shoppers may be reluctant to spend $150,000 for a set of urns, let alone $170,000 for a set of 18th century Italian armchairs, or $700,000 for a writing table from that same period, but there is a market, and this market is stronger than ever. So says Stephen Miller Siegel, designer to some of the world's wealthiest families. So you want to have a look where you're going for here? Um, well, the clients wanted a very serious, formal environment here. He was the ambassador to Belgium, and he entertains diplomats. But on the other hand, he's a great collector of contemporary Latin American art. So he wanted an environment that he could show his art. Decorating today is not just about excess. It's about being creative. Combining the right fabrics, the right artwork, and that one great piece. This table, for example, that we found is the center point of the room, is a, a French Empire table uh, from the turn of the 18th century. The look is classic, comfortable, thoughtful. This is a costly process. We try to uh, go out and shop for uh, things that uh, would never go out of style, would never be trendy. Timeless pieces like this $100,000 pair of Italian consoles, $150,000 set of French drawers made from plum pudding mahogany, and other rich museum quality pieces from Manhattan's top galleries. Some so rare they're going for over three and a half million dollars. Two upwards of seven million dollars. Prices many are willing to pay to look simple. For CNBC's high net worth, I'm Vera Gibbons. Beautiful things there. Up next, polo, known as the sport of royalty and the uber wealthy. Well, the royalty of Silicon Valley have come up with their own version of the king's game. You just might be surprised at the kinds of ponies they rock.